All right, everyone, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new here. I'm Christina, aka that variety nerd, and today we're gathered here for more of the Christina Bennett series. And boy, oh boy, am I excited for this! I'm I'm so excited to get back to this because we've been cooking up a storm around here in terms of just writing like crazy uh, throughout the month throughout the month of October. And uh, I'm excited just to get back into it and hopefully get this back on more of a regular schedule and that sort of thing. Because y'all seem to really like this series and I have a blast with this too. Either way around, we have a lot of ground to cover. Christina Bennett, of course, winning a huge matchup uh, at uh, the last PLE against Rhea Ripley. So let's see what the champ has to say tonight. WWE Universe! I've got to be honest, last weekend at Backlash, I was truly in for the fight of my life against Rhea Ripley inside of that steel cage for this Women's Intercontinental Championship. Rhea and the rest of the Judgment Day thought they could take this title and run WWE, but that didn't happen. So Rhea, you thought you could break me? Well, guess what? I'm just getting started. Still, you're WWE Women's Intercontinental Champion. Now, I don't know what challenges lie ahead, but I have a little bit of unfinished business that I want to take care of first. There's someone who deserves some recognition as well. I want to take this time to thank someone who had my back in a way I never expected. I want to thank Finn Balor. Finn broke the Judgment Day from the inside. Could it have been for his own gain? Possibly, and I would have understood that. But Finn did more than step up to take down the Judgment Day, who have ruined my life for the last several months. So, Finn, thank you. Now, this is certainly a very interesting development, to say the least. Uh, I think it's interesting, you know, Christina Bennett thanking Finn Balor and that sort of thing. And, of course, we've got Finn Balor making his way out to the ring. Of course, in the last episode, we saw all the Judgment Day shenanigans and their sort of downfall, if you will. But uh, Finn Balor, of course, defeating Damien Priest and their matchup. And then Christina Bennett retaining her Intercontinental Championship against Rhea Ripley in the main event of the Premium Live event. So that was all very exciting, but these two pretty much took down the Judgment Day, so I think it's really interesting to see Christina Bennett, given her really awful track record of teaming up with people, to be like, well, thank you for, you know, just being awesome and, you know, helping me out a little bit. And to have Finn Balor actually show up. That That is a very nice development, to say the least. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what's next up for Finn Balor and Christina Bennett moving ahead. Again, we focus on Christina Bennett and her shenanigans, and shenanigans are about to start a brewing at this point, but it's going to be interesting to see what will unfold next in their chapters. But let's see how this interaction unfolds. Thank you, Christina, but the pleasure was all mine. I took down Damien, but you took down Rhea in one of the most brutal steel cage matches I've ever seen. You earned my respect, and you showed the world what it truly means to be a champion. I've got to admit, I'm surprised to see you out here. After a mixed tag match with Sammy against Dom and Rhea at WrestleMania, Sammy disappeared. I haven't heard from him since. Remember, Sammy pretended to like you with that whole fake relationship when you first started. Sammy took advantage of your return and used that reunion in order to take down the Judgment Day however he could. Sure, we had issues with him and Kevin, but those were recent. Christina, I hate to be the one that says that, but Sammy used you again and played with your emotions, all to further himself. I kind of had a feeling right from the beginning. And you were right whether you wanted to admit it to yourself or not. But you know what? Sometimes the best help can come from the most unexpected places. Alrighty, people, we've got ourselves a little bit of an open challenge type situation. Look at Christina Bennett. See, she's she's crushing it, people. She's she's trying to prove why she's the inaugural women's intercontinental champion. That's right. Place a little bit of respect on her right there. Inaugural, the first ever. Just what a legend. What an absolute legend. <laughs> Either way around, it seems like Sonya Deville has answered the open challenge for that Women's Intercontinental Championship. And, I mean, hey, I'm all for it. And I, this is this is my healthy petition for us to get a Women's Midcard title in real life. That, that'd be great. That'd be great. At least on WWE programming. I know, I know AEW's got one. And it's 
you know, I think it's working. So, I mean, hey, I'm just saying, WWE's got a pretty stacked roster. There's no excuse for them not to have a mid-card title at this point, for the women's side of things. I think it would be a great idea. But here we go, people. Here we go. Christina Bennett ready to go here tonight. I, I really like this outfit. I think we had this one for Mania, right? I'm pretty sure that was the case. But the, the outfits are just on point. But I mean, hey, if you if you got that little bit of an uptick with your, your funds uh, from being a champion, I'd, I'd assume that you'd probably invest into, into some gear and that sort of thing and you know all that good stuff. But it's going to be interesting to see what happens with Christina Bennett moving forward. She's issuing open challenges now, which is interesting. A little risky, but interesting. But it seems like she's finally hitting her stride. And hey, maybe this was the title that did it for her. Because she had a little bit, she, uh, she had quite a bumpy start, to say the least. <laughs> she needs a break. <laughs> she needs a vacation. But there it is, people, the beautiful Women's Intercontinental Championship. Okay, people, sorry about the jump cut right there. We had to get rid of the uh, introductions, uh, but uh, my capture card took a smoke break, and it was just like, no signal, and I'm just like, what did you do? And it turned out that one of the cords wasn't in all the way, which is... That, that seems to be about what happens around here. I think that's what happened with some of the technical issues that I had earlier in the week when I was like, what's this beeping noise? And it was just like the volume noise. But Christina Bennett right out of the gate trying to show why she is the inaugural women's intercontinental champion. The fighting champion thus far. She had her first title defense against Rhea Ripley, I believe. And, well, she crushed it. She's crushing it. I don't know how else to word it. She's just, she's crushing the competition. Well, the competition's currently crushing her. Oh, never mind. She's trying to make quick work out of Sonya Deville. Again, the Intercontinental Championship can be defended on all three shows, which is very exciting. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, why am I sitting the way that I'm sitting? <laughs> I think it's because I'm so nervous that, like, one of the cords are just going to come out at any given point. Maybe this is a sign that I need a new cord for my capture card, because my capture card's working fine. You know, maybe, maybe maybe that's something we'll look into. We'll see. And it's a new month, and lots of exciting things happening in this household. But look at Christina Bennett, just soaking in the crowd right there. Oh, dive outside the ring! See, she's keeping her eyes on the prize, and, and we can respect that. See, even that referee is intimidated. Oh my god, our favorite referee. Huge slap, nice chop. Oh, but Sony with the counter. Oh, kick, 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 kick. Come on, come on, you, you can do it, you can do it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. What's she doing? We have a submission locked in. We do have a submission locked in. <laughs> Oh god, I'm excited to record this series again. I, it's like, the problem is that it takes a while for us to get into a groove in terms of writing things. So there's that. And Bennett now, huge maneuver right there into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Sonya Deville? And it is not. Sonya kicks at it too. And Bennett now, what is she up to here? Nice elbow drop to Sonya Deville. Oh, it's Sonya with the counter. Oh! Again, to think this is only really Christina Bennett's second full year of being on the roster and really in this business, because she didn't really do any independence or anything like that. She just sort of showed up <laughs> as Justine Janine's niece and was trained by Justine Janine. Oh! Looked like she was trying to kick out and go for the ropes at the same time. Good ring awareness. We're proud of you. She's learning! She's a little rough around the edges, but she's learning. Oh, and Sony Deville with the punches right here. Oh, and a counter from Bennett. Counter from Bennett. Oh! What? She got the punch first! What is happening? Oh, you potatoes. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just call everything that I just get annoyed at a potato. Even though I love potatoes. Oh, but Sonya blocked the kick. Hey, 
Bennett's got a finisher, so I think she'll be more than okay. But champion's advantage at play, too. Just, just some food for thought. Seriously, I keep pressing the button. <sighs> Sonya, you can't win the title outside the ring. That's not how this works. What is she trying to accomplish here? I'm all confused. Oh, right on the announce table. Oh, this will be a great open challenge start if we lose by count out. Okay, thank you, Sonya. We're back inside the ring. Oh, no. This can't be good for Bennett here. Oh! Counter from Bennett. Everyone's favorite move! Bam! Into the cover. Could this be enough to put away Sonya Deville and retain the gold here tonight? And it is not. Sonya kicks out at two. We got a women's wrestling chant. Oh, she just sent Sonya over the top rope. Oh, Bennett, what are we doing here? Don't go to the top rope. <laughs> she whiffed it. Again, we need to yell at her to stop going to the top rope. <laughs> I say as I'm the one in control of the match, but, you know. Oh, counter. Counter from Bennett. Counter from Bennett. Oh! I, I think it's that it, it adds a little detail, though, of, like, she's learning. She's trying. Uh, seriously, we don't have time for this, Sonya. We really don't. We have better things to do. Huge knee into the cover. Oh, and a kick out at two. Love to see that. Love to see that. What's Sonya up to here? Oh, and a huge counter right there from Bennett. What's Bennett up to here? She's looking for it once again. Oh, that might be it for Sonya. That might be it for... Oh, and a kick out at two. A close call once again. And again, if these are longer episodes, we're just here to watch our stories here. We're here to watch the story unfold. This is more of our long-form content, I say, is also my GM's getting more long-form. But I mean, again, like, we're at a point where we're having, like, weekly series, so I feel like that's, you know, a good chunky video, just for your enjoyment. Seriously, Sonya, we don't have time for this crap. We really don't. Like, I, we don't have time for this, Sonya. Cut it out. I'm like, come on, Christina, you can do it. Put her away, please. We're, we got time constraints. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, nice drop kick right there from Bennett. Bennett's on the offense right here. And Bennett once again looking for it. I just, I love that move so much. Oh, God, Sonya's going to try to go over the ropes, isn't she? All right, beautiful. Christina Bennett retains the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Again, we had a little bit of a technical glitch right there, but hey, at least we fixed it right away, so that's one positive. Oh, boy. I'm going to be all settled in for my evening just recording a bunch of videos and cleaning. So, I, listen, it's raining like crazy out. I have no shame. Either way around, uh, Christina Bennett retains the title pretty swift fashion. Not the longest match, but not the shortest match. But you'll love to see it. She did it! I mean, she's issuing open challenges. So, I mean, hey. It gets her on the show and gets her, you know, title, like, just in the universe more, so I mean I can't complain about that. But a great match, but a great showing from Christina Bennett here tonight. I would agree, it was an amazing match. So let's keep going, people. Alrighty, people, we're back over at Monday Night Raw, and once again we've got an open challenge that has been answered this week by Nikki A.S.H. I know Nikki Cross is back, not Nikki A.S.H., but you know what? We gotta work with what we gotta work with, right? Right. And hey, it gets her more matches. It gets the title, like, more seen. So, I think we can all appreciate that and take that for a win, right? Right. But either way around, I hope everyone's enjoying 
uh, the episode thus far. Again, if it's a little longer than usual, then that's okay. That's what we're here to watch our stories. <laughs> we're here to play through the stories. Oh my goodness gracious. But Nikki A.S.H. making her way down to the ring right here. So let's get right to the champ. Alrighty, people. We've got Christina Bennett about to make her way down to the ring right here. Again, we're chopping up the entrances just a little bit. Simply because we've sort of seen some of these entrances here and there already, but... You know, it is what it is, right? Right. We're back with the cool gear once again. And Christina Bennett's making her way down to the ring right here as well. This will be, I believe, her third title defense with the Women's Intercontinental Championship. And she's truly holding down the fort on both shows. <laughs> But I'm excited to see where this new chapter is going to land her, to say the least, as a fighting, defending champion. I mean, you got to set the tone with that first title reign, right? Right. And that's exactly what she's doing here tonight. And there it is, people, the beautiful Women's Intercontinental Championship on the line here tonight. That was a little glitchy. <laughs> Y'all, I almost forgot that was a thing. The almost a superhero. But here we go, people. But here we go, people. Christina Bennett about to defend her championship with her favorite referee, per usual, um, against Nikki A.S.H. here on Monday Night Raw, truly becoming a fighting and defending reigning women's intercontinental champion. And we're proud of her for that. Listen, it's the first time that somebody's held on to that title, at least in our little canon anyway, and so it's like... I feel like with any first title, you gotta set the tone for it, you know? And Bennett now right out of the gate trying to put away Nikki A.S.H. right away, and well, Nikki with the counter. I pressed the button! What are we doing? Boo! Okay, that time I missed it. That's okay. I missed that one too. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Oh! But she got that one, though. Oh! Missed the drop kick. The counter right there. And Bennett now on the offense right here. Once again, trying to get as much offense in as she can on Nikki A.S.H. Beautiful strikes and kicks right there to Nikki. Okay, no counter for that move, but okay, this is what it is. I want a counter right there from Bennett. Oh, missed the drop kick. Nice neck breaker right there from Nikki A.S.H. into the cover now, and Bennett kicks out very swiftly that time. Kind of baffled that, you know, she's a little on the uh, struggling side right now, but that's okay. Oh, now that one's on me. I, I, you know, didn't get close enough on that move. Here we go. Nikki A.S.H. up to the top rope. I pressed the button! <laughs> it's like a recurring theme. is like the dark screen and me yelling, I pressed the button half the time. And Nikki A.S.H. stomping away, but Bennett with the sneaky roll up. Sneaky roll up. Oh, and a one count on the sneaky roll up right there. Oh, and Bennett now with the strikes right there, and Nikki A.S.H. Oh, but there's a counter right there from Bennett. Oh! Oh, and the knee strikes. 
Oh, and a huge kick. Oh, and a sling blade. And the drop kick. Oh, and Bennett looking to capitalize right here. And Bennett looking to connect right here. Oh, what a move. And Christina Bennett in for the cover here against Nikki A.S.H. And Nikki A.S.H. kicks out. What a showing right here from the champ. And also, the number, and also, I don't know if I would say number one contender, but the contender, I think, right? Right. Oh, what a huge move right there from Christina Bennett. Bennett trying to just stay on the offense. Huge elbow drop to Nikki A.S.H. Nikki's in the corner. Oh, what a move. Bennett is not letting up whatsoever, and, and we're here for that. Oh, missed the drop kick though. Oh, and Bennett once again with a counter. Oh, and what do we got here? What do we got here? Oh, that might be it for Nikki A.S.H. That, that might be it, people. That referee took his good old time. Seriously, if it wasn't for the ref taking his good old time there, I think we would have had it. No, we're not going to fight forever. Wrong game. <laughs> I'm going to stop. No, I'm not. Oh, Lord. Oh, missed the drop kick once again. Oh, but... <sighs> Apparently we're slowing down things a little bit here. Bennett was on a little bit of a roll there, but momentum is slow, but Bennett with a kick out at one. Kind of baffled by just how dare you. What is happening here? Why are we going to the outside? Why don't they ever realize that you can't win by, like, count out in a championship match? Like, you can win by count out, but you don't get the title that way. And Bennett now looking to get back inside the ring. And everybody's back inside the ring. Not even a two count, which is fine. Oh, but Nikki with the counter. Bennett with the counter, too. Oh, and she got the drop kick that time. I might need to change that move because I'm not feeling that move now. We might do that in between episodes. We'll see. Oh, and a kick. Okay, I don't know what that was, but we're going to roll with it, I think. Oh, no. Oh, and Bennett with a counter. Oh, Bennett looking for a move of her own right here. Oh, that might be it. That could very well be it for Nikki A.S.H. Oh, what a matchup right there. And Christina Bennett successfully retains the title. And you'll love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. What a match right there, people. Certainly a very exciting matchup, to say the least. And hey, she's a defending champion, and that's what matters, right? Right. We're proud of you, Christina Bennett. We're proud of you. You're defending your title. That referee looks mad that she retained. <laughs> I don't think that referee likes this at all. I really don't think so. He's like, why do I have to ref one of your matches again? <laughs> but what an impressive showing for Christina Bennett right here as she defends the Women's Intercontinental Championship. But let's see what happens next, shall we? What is next for Christina Bennett? Well, we're about to find out. All right, everyone. We're back over here on SmackDown now, and... It appears to be that Christina Bennett is not dressed to compete, but maybe dressed to make a statement. I don't know what's about to go down, but what I do know is this. We will hear from our Women's Intercontinental Champion very shortly. So what does the champ have on her mind here tonight? After successfully defending her championship three times in the past couple of weeks or so, it's definitely been a big week for Christina Bennett, so let's see what happens. Oh, snap! No! Oh my god! This is finally happening! Max Storm and Christina Bennett finally crossing paths, seemingly enough. But what does Max Storm have to do with Christina Bennett? I'm, I'm all lost and confused right now. And she didn't even get a chance to speak or anything! Just, wow! What a jerk. I, got, I don't know why the pyro is going off, so just, just ignore that for now. 
I'm pretty sure we never got that fixed, but we need to see what Max Storm's got to say here tonight. Oh, isn't this adorable? Our Women's Intercontinental Champion, Christina Bennett, wants to be just like John Cena by issuing open challenges. How cute is that? It's part of being a champion, Max. You would know a little bit about that since you just lost your World Heavyweight Championship at Backlash. I see you paid attention to my match, huh? Max, I was their main eventing Backlash. Of course I watched the rest of the show. You know, Rhonda was right about you, Christina. You only got that title because you're always going to be second best. Much like how you were always going to be the second best world champion named Max in this business, huh? Alright, that's enough. If you're a true fighting champion, why not make it an open challenge to anyone from any promotion? Show us you can survive outside of this cozy little WWE bubble. Well, I'm willing to face anyone, anywhere, anytime. Period. But how about you just get right to the point? Why are you out here? Shouldn't you be on Raw trying to win back the World Heavyweight title? Listen, why dwell on the past when you can move to the future? Isn't that what you did after you returned in January? I technically never lost the title since I was injured, but continue. Christina, I have big plans for SmackDown. Plans that involve taking over, making this place all ours. Taking over? You do realize the Bloodline has been running Rampage on SmackDown, right? Christina, let's be real. The Bloodline may claim this as their show, but I'm here to tell you that my group and I are about to take over. Max, SmackDown is my home. I fought tooth and nail to make it what it is with the rest of our talented locker room. No one is going to waltz in here and take that away. The Bloodline might have their claim to SmackDown, but this is my title and my turf just as much as theirs. Oh, well, I'm well aware, Christina, but here's the thing. Your world champion women's champion aren't around often, making it just the right time to take over. There's still a few other prizes up for grabs, championships that might find themselves around someone else's waist. Max, you can talk all you want about taking over SmackDown with your group, whoever they may be, but I know one thing is for certain. This Women's Intercontinental Championship is staying with me, and I'll defend it against anyone who stands in my way. That's the spirit. But remember, there's another prize up for grabs on SmackDown. The United States Championship. The rest of the titles are over on Monday Night Raw. And if anyone from our group decides to go for it, there's nothing you can do about it. Y'all, that was quite the crossover, to say the least. Oh my goodness gracious. So Max Storm and his little group are now about to try to infiltrate SmackDown, and they've brought in the Bloodline, which can't- that can't be a good thing! Oh no. Oh no, this, this is not gonna be good. But we have another open challenge, this time with Valhalla. Accompanied by the Viking Raiders, Eric and Ivar. Should be an interesting matchup, to say the least. Uh, but either way around, uh, this the, the developments are developing, people. Uh, yeah, so we got a bit of a potential takeover situation involving Max Storm and his little group. So I don't know what's going to happen there or how that takeover is going to look like or anything like that. But I mean, what was, what was that guy going on about? Like, she's defending her title. Like, that's what she should be doing, right? And I guess Max just lost his championship at Backlash, too, so... Who knows where anything is going at this point, but what I do know is this. Uh, Christina Bennett's got a matchup here on Monday Night Raw against Valhalla for that Women's Intercontinental Championship, so this should be very interesting. I feel like I'm getting stared into my soul right here. <laughs> oh boy, I, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but we're just going to have to see what happens moving ahead, right? Right. So again, grab your snacks, grab your choice of beverage, get comfy and cozy. And let's get settled in. It makes it look like the freaking Viking Raiders were gonna, like, take down Christina better right there. Or challenge for the title. Oh, boy. That, that, that could have been interesting, but... It's Valhalla representing the trio there for that Women's Intercontinental Championship. Uh, she is looking a little unfazed after the interaction with Max Storm. The much-anticipated crossover, to say the least. I don't know if we've ever really had, like, characters kind of, you know, overlapping like that from our My Rise seasons and whatnot. So, I mean, hey, there's a first for everything on this channel, right? Right. So let's get to the match, people. Let's get to... Let's get to... Oh, 
Oh, Jesus, what just happened there? I just heard, like, I just heard, like, the supernatural sounding thing. Oh my god, what the heck was that? I don't know what happened. Oh wait, no, that might have been the title sound, because I just kind of breezed through everything. But Bennett now, right out of the gate, going right for Valhalla here tonight. With the strikes, with the kicks. Should be very interesting, to say the least. This is the fourth title defense for Christina Bennett, and we're proud of her. Okay, we're not proud of her for, well, whiffing that, but that's okay. Again, she's learning. She's trying her best here. On oh, the sling blade once again. Into the drop pick. But you gotta think about who's on Max's side here. Like, obviously we had Max and um, Drew and AJ at the end of my rise. But are they still with him? What, what do they think about this whole situation? I don't know what's gonna happen here other than, well, we just... Got attacked outside the ring, which is fine, because champion's advantage. Oh boy. Oh, and the headbutts. That can't be good. Oh, and Bennett now making her way back inside the ring. You'd think it'd be the opposite, because I don't know, Valhalla's trying to win the title, and of course you can only win by pinfall or submission with the title, so. Oh boy. Bennett with the counter. Bennett with the counter. And Bennett now looking for something here. Nice suplex right there from Christina Bennett. Again, this episode, I'm just, I'm so nervous for Christina Bennett because she just got out of this crazy angle against the Judgment Day. And now there's another group going after her. And there was a whiff of the United States Championship mentioned. So I don't know what that's all going to look like, but I mean, hey, I mean, the current world champion, Roman Reigns, he's just not there. And the women's champion is Ronda Rousey, who is also not there. So that provides a little bit of context and everything. So it's kind of an easy time for them to go and take over everything. Oh, Valhalla tried to take over the match here, but that did not happen. Look, look at that look on her face. She's like, how dare you? <laughs> oh, nice suplex from Valhalla right there. Oh, sneaky roll-up from Bennett, sneaky roll-up from Bennett. A one count, but certainly worth noting, right? Right. Oh. Seriously, we were we were countering. We were trying to counter there. You see, that move I don't quite understand. Like, there's no, like, fatigue on, on either side right now, or at least I don't think there is. Oh, and a hair pull right to the mat. And more headbutts. As if we haven't had enough right here. As if we haven't had enough right here in this match, I should say. Oh boy. Oh, it's like, what would I be headbutting? I, I'm, I'm, I, I live by myself. <laughs> oh god, I, I could see if I had a cat, because that's what cats tend to do. But here we are, y'all. Oh, Christina Bennett looking for it. Big kick right there to Valhalla. She's got to get out of that corner. There we go. Get out of the corner! That's where the Viking Raiders are. There we go. Just just let her get to her feet. What's Bennett up to here? What is she up to? Oh! What a kick right there from Christina Bennett here tonight. I don't know what we, I, th I thought we had a springboard thing there, but apparently we don't. But that's okay. Oh, but Valhalla with the counter. Valhalla looking for something here. Oh, but Bennett with the counter. Bennett with the counter. Oh, and Bennett now looking for it. Oh! That could be it for Valhalla right here. Oh, and a two count. And a two count. And Christina Bennett, a fighting champion here tonight. Again, like, oh, just... She she's crushing it. She's crushing it as champion. Max is just jealous. The people like her, okay? There's no other way around it. What's he gonna do? Challenge her for the title? That that'd be interesting. <laughs> I think she would win though. If anything for the snarkiness. At least she's entertaining. What I press the button. What are we doing here, people? What are we doing? Oh, and a two count right there, and Bennett kicks out. 
I want to counter. Oh, we countered a finisher, apparently. Interesting. Oh, and Valhalla countered us. Counter her again. Beautiful drop kick that I need to swap out after this episode, ideally. Oh, and Bennett with the maneuver right there. Could this be enough to put away Valhalla here tonight? And it is! Everyone's favorite move has prevailed. Which is lovely to see. Absolutely lovely to see. Oh, what a match, people. What a moment. Even if there is very blurry replays. <laughs> I love that for us. But here we are, people. Christina Bennett defends her championship once again, and we are proud of her around here. We're so proud of her. I'm proud of her, and I hope you all are proud of her as well. But what is this next chapter going to look like now that Max Storm is in the picture? Well, we're about to find out. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my show, AEW Dynamite. Tonight I've got a little surprise for all of you. I've decided to grace you with the opportunity to witness history in the making. Something I know about way more than any of you people ever will. You see, I've been looking around and I've come to a realization. The so-called champions in this business are nothing more than placeholders. I've held every title in this business, all except one. Christina Bennett, you said you would challenge anyone, anywhere, anytime. Well, how about this for a challenge? I want a shot at the WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship at double or nothing. And I want an answer next week here on Dynamite. If you have the guts to show up, that is. What in the world did we just see? And what are we seeing right now? Oh my god, people. I, I'm shook from what we just saw with... What we just saw with Soraya. And now we got Nia Jax back. I don't even know what to make of this whole series anymore. This is just... Got, and then this, and then, and we, we just have a lot of moving pieces. Why is Nia Jax here on SmackDown? Why is she trying to, like... You know, why is she just... Why is she just hacking... Why is she attacking Kate and Carter backstage on SmackDown? Why is Max Storm trying to get involved with Christina Bennett's business? And now why is Soraya going after Christina Bennett? Maybe that had to do something with Max's little speech there of not being a quote-unquote true fighting champion, whatever that was. Oh! God, Christina Bennett's already... She, she's, she's a hot commodity, apparently. I don't know. But this, this is certainly something else. This is certainly something else. And again, my apologies for the lack of the arena situation there. It was simply because we literally, like, couldn't have custom arenas be, like, the actual arena that we wanted to work with or anything like that. It was just, I don't know. We're going to have to figure that out as we move along. But this is certainly an interesting development, to say the least. And, and we're here for that energy. We're absolutely here for that energy. We're not here for Nia Jax attacking people backstage, though, in terms of energy. But we're here for the energy that everybody wants a piece of Christina Bennett now, apparently. So, I mean, we're going to have to see what happens here. But Nia Jax attacking Caden Carter here tonight backstage at SmackDown. We're going to have to see what happens moving ahead. Last week, I issued a challenge for the WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. And I've been waiting to see if Christina Bennett has the guts to accept it. Christina, I know you're watching. Do you have what it takes to step up and face me? Or are you just another paper champion, afraid to defend that title against a real competitor, a real legend in this industry? Oh my god, she's showing up. Christina Bennett showed up to AEW Dynamite here tonight. Oh my god, look at that, look at that, look at that. She's brought the title and everything, people. Oh my god, she... I, I think it's safe to say that she completely obliterated whatever shred that we had left of the Forbidden Door, right? Right? Oh my god. I'm at an absolute loss for words here, people. We, we gotta see what happens. We've absolutely gotta see what happens now. I'm invested. We need to see what happens between Soraya and Christina Bennett. Two second generation superstars of their time, to say the least. Oh boy, grab your snacks, everybody. Grab your snacks. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. A WWE champion in an AEW ring. Soraya, you wanted me to show up, and here I am. Oh, look at you trying to smash the forbidden door, just like everybody else. 
Well, I mean, I kind of destroyed it since this is the first time a current WWE champion is on AEW. But go ahead. You know a thing or two about what's forbidden, right? Christina, this is my house, all right? You don't get to insult me just because you're tired of being in the WWE bubble. Actually, you challenged me for my WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. And I accept the challenge. Look at you taking a chance. I mean, the show's called Double or Nothing, right? Sometimes you have to take a gamble in your career, and I'm more than ready for Sunday. What happened, Christina? Did you get tired of your safe little SmackDown bubble? Maybe that's why you weren't there when your roster needed you. I'm pretty sure none of us could have predicted that Nia Jax would return, let alone join in Max Storm's attempt to take over SmackDown. Yet here you are. Christina, let's get one thing straight. You wandered into my house. You think you can walk away with that title intact. You've got more guts than brains. Soraya, without you, there might not even be the Women's Intercontinental Championship. You blazed a trail for modern women's wrestling. And I respect that. And I respect you. Well, you might have more brains than I thought. That doesn't mean you'll retain your title, but I'll give a little bit of credit where it's due. Look, you're not the only one who has faced some of the best in the business, and you're not going to be the last. Christina, this is not your home turf. This isn't SmackDown. This isn't Raw. This isn't WWE. This is all elite wrestling. You're in my house now, and I'm bringing that title back to AEW. Well, Soraya, consider your house foreclosed, because at Double or Nothing, I will prove that I am the best women's wrestler in the world and retain the Women's Intercontinental Championship. Oh my god, what is Max Storm doing out here again? Oh god. Well, we had Nia Jax attack Caden Carter for absolutely no reason last week on SmackDown. And Christina Bennett showed up on, 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 on another company with, with the title. I'm, I'm getting very concerned. This has been very much just escalating very quickly. I don't know where anything's going to go, but we need to hear from Max as to what's all going on, don't we? Last week on SmackDown, you all saw someone make their surprise return to WWE. Tonight, I stand before you as the architect of that plan. Consider that the first blow to Friday Night SmackDown. Now, it's been a while since you've seen her, WWE Universe, so allow me to introduce to you the newest member of my faction, a woman who is truly a force to be reckoned with, Nia Jax. Now, Christina Bennett, the so-called Women's Intercontinental Champion, where were you when your fellow superstars needed you? Nowhere to be found, except you showed up on the competition show. Now, who is really loyal to SmackDown? To WWE? You are putting your title on the line in some secondary promotion. That's not who we need here. Nia understands that SmackDown needs a leader, someone who isn't afraid to get their hands dirty. Someone who leads by example. And together, along with the rest of our team, we're bringing change to SmackDown. Starting with your precious champions. At least the ones who show up to work. Y'all, what is even happening at this point? Oh my god, oh my god. Talk about being a hot commodity. Uh, Christina Bennett, of course, very much in just, you know, hot commodity form. Everybody wants a piece of the Women's Intercontinental Champion across different promotions now, which is very interesting indeed. Uh, Max went on about how much Nia Jax is going to destroy everybody, which is great. Um, and then, of course, this is the more interesting nougaty bit, to say the least where we have Christina Bennett versus Soraya again, two second-generation talents of different generations of women's wrestling making their own pathway in the sphere of professional wrestling. And Christina Bennett just ultimately, I think, obliterating the... I, is it going to be your house? I mean, I mean Christina Bennett was onto something there. She was definitely onto something there. Now listen, I, I had to create a show in order to use this arena for the promo and, well, this match too. So, I don't know. I just kind of went with random stuff and hope, and hope for the best. But yeah, I, I think Christina Bennett kind of, she she's holding her own. We're going to see what happens here. Oh my god, listen to them booing her out of the building. Oh, this is beautiful. I get loved and adored by everybody on the... Uh, WWE Universe, or in the WWE Universe, I should say. But she's clearly walking in here, like, not at all the fan favorite. 
which I think is quite honestly beautiful. Th this this is fantastic. She's not wavering, she's not letting up, she's just going in there and doing her thing. And actually being a defending champion with the actual open challenge. I mean, this has escalated so quickly after that one little comment from Max Storm. But I mean, hey, you gotta take advantage of your opportunities, right? Right. Oh my god, oh my god. And don't y'all worry, we're gonna have everything in the uh, description down below for all the uh, credits for everything, as we usually do. So that way everyone gets proper attribution, because we give credit where credit is due around here. Oh my god, this is insane. This is just insane, people. I don't know what to make of anything. This is so surreal. They're just like booing her out of the building. I love it. Oh, this is great. She's not wavering whatsoever from this crowd and we're here for. But this is the real test for Christina Bennett here. How will she prevail or if she will prevail? Will she prevail here in enemy territory to say the least? Got the... WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship on the line here at AEW Double or Nothing. And just, oh, I'm so nervous, y'all. This is so surreal. I don't know if we ever thought we'd had this on, we ever had this on the bingo board, but Soraya going in right from the get-go, but Christina Bennett just going in hard right as well with the offense. I fixed the one move, so I'm proud of that. <laughs> I fixed the one move and gave her a little bit of a refresh for the special occasion, right? Right. I don't know why. I really like the jacket, so the jacket's staying around, I think, for the foreseeable future. We'll see. Oh, what a kick. I, I need to know what Justine Janine has to say about this whole mess. Oh, see? Again, don't go to the middle or top. She just needs to just not go anywhere near the top turnbuckle. The crowd's just booing everybody out of the building, but especially Christina Bennett. That's that's the energy we're here for. Oh, and just going right for the arm of Soraya right here. And Bennett right here, right out of the gate. I need to get some water. Yo, I've been filming this episode for a while now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, well, I did take a food break, so that, that would do it. I made some chicken parmesan. Let me know what you're having for dinner down in the comments down below. I know this is so serious. This is the final match. Oh, God. This has been just a wild episode between the crossover with Max Storm, the crossover with the women's divisions, to say the least. This has been nuts, people. This has been absolutely nuts. Oh, and Bennett with the counter. Oh. Oh, and a counter. Oh, no. Oh, and Bennett, 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 Bennett! Oh! And a power bomb right into the cover. Could this be enough for my Soraya right here? And it is not a one count right there. Oh, and Soraya's right back up on her feet. Apologies for the jump cut, people. It was about to freeze up. Oh, no. Oh no, what's Soraya up to here? Over the top rope, over the top rope! Oh, right through the middle rope right there! I missed the counter button, but that's okay. I didn't miss that one, though. Oh. We have a This Is Awesome chant already bringing out everybody, even though, well, everyone's booing everybody in this match. This is delightful. This is the energy that we like to see in this household. Oh, and Soraya now bringing back Christina Bennett inside the ring. Of course, champion's advantage at play here. Oh, and Soraya's going to the top rope. Oh, we pressed the button there. Okay, I guess not, apparently. It's fine. And Bennett now. Oh, and a two count right there. Everybody's just booing everybody in this match, but especially Christina Bennett here, right? I mean, you gotta give her credit where credit is due here. See, we, we fixed the drop kick. We added in a different move instead. Oh, and Soraya with the counter. Oh, Bennett with a counter of her own here. Oh, boy, this is gonna be a very close match, people. 
I want Beto with the suplex into the cover, into the cover. The referee's running around in circles intentionally because we don't like Christina Bennett over here at AEW. I mean, what? <laughs> Listen, I had to. The referees are just a pain in my butt in this game. <laughs> oh, no. Let's try up to here. Oh! That's it. That might be it for Christina Bennett, people. That could be it. We might we might have a new champion here tonight at Double or Nothing. Oh, no. Oh, but Bennett kicks out. Bennett kicks out. Oh, my God. Oh, but Bennett with the sneaky roll-up, sneaky roll-up, sneaky roll-up. Could this be it? Could this be it? Could this be it? Okay. Okay, not. Not, not at all. Oh, Bennett looking for another kick. Oh, but Soraya looking for a running knee, but Bennett blocks out of the way. Huge elbow right there from Bennett. It seems like we have a handful of people cheering, which is interesting. A very interesting situation on our hands, to say the least. Oh, and Bennett now. Tossing Soraya to the corner. Oh, but Soraya with the counter of her own. And the hair pull. The ever deadly hair pull. Actually, no, that, that crap hurts. Oh! Oh, we're back into the outside of the ring. Or we're back to the outside of the ring. Y'all, I can't talk. It's fine. I need to cool down the apartment in here. <laughs> well, I, I think it's cooled down outside, but like, you know how apartments can get very toasty very quickly? Yeah, that's pretty much my apartment in a nutshell. But I'm perfectly fine with that because it's perfect in the winter. Oh no. Oh, Zariah once again. Oh! I don't know what just happened there, but that was amazing. Oh, and Bennett going right for the neck. This this is not good at all for Soraya here. And Bennett slowing down the pace right there. Going right for the leg of Soraya. These two have just, like... They're just letting it all out in the middle of the ring. They're leaving it all out there. Oh, and Bennett... The takedown of her own right there. I bet it might be looking for it here. She might be looking for it. Oh, and a counter! Counter from Bennett right there. Running clothesline from Christina Bennett right there. Sling blade! Oh, what a maneuver. Oh, but Soraya's right back up on her feet! What's it gonna have to take for Christina Bennett to take down Soraya here tonight? And Bennett's not letting up whatsoever, and we're here for that energy. I'm so proud of her for sticking up for herself, y'all. I'm proud of her. I hope y'all are proud of her, too. Because I, I, I am proud of her. I mean, that's got to be very gutsy of her to, like, just go right into enemy territory. And have a match, to say the least. Oh, Bennett's looking for it. Ow! That might be it for Soraya. And Bennett's looking for it. She's looking for everyone's favorite move, except for these people. That's not their favorite move. And Bennett now going in for the cover once again. Oh, and Soraya kicked out. Oh, the champ showing some frustration there. We are not worthy at all, people. Okay, well, Bennett just needs to just not go anywhere near the corner at this point. Unless if it's in a tag team match, or unless if she's going for those corner strikes. She, just, she shouldn't even be going up to the second turnbuckle. <laughs> the middle turnbuckle, the middle rope. Oh, and Soraya now. She's got Bennett in the corner. Oh, but Bennett caught her again! Oh, and a power bomb right to Soraya. Could this be enough to put away Soraya here tonight? Oh, and Soraya kicks out at two. What is it going to take to put away Soraya here tonight? But they have some similarities in there, you know? Second generation competitors here. Both carving out their own legacies in their own way. And, uh, yeah, I mean, essentially without Soraya, they wouldn't, there wouldn't really be a Christina Bennett. Or possibly even that WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. Oh, what a running knee! Oh, and Bennett kicks out at two. What a match, people. See what I mean? Like, Christina Bennett can't get a five-star match unless she jumps ship. Oh, what a counter! 
What a counter. But I mean, she's she's holding in there. She's hanging in there. The true test of the work rate match. Oh! For the women's work rate title. Oh, I bet it's exhaustive. You can just see the fatigue. Oh, and the kick. Once again, right to Soraya. Oh! And the rope! Bet it caught the rope before the referee did. Oh, that... Uh, She's getting that ring awareness. She might not be great at jumping off of things, but she's okay with the- she's getting better with the ring awareness. <laughs> Priorities. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Bennett's looking for it once again. The fans aren't happy at all, people. They are just not happy at all. Oh! My goodness, everyone's favorite move connects once again into the cover. And Christina Bennett puts away Soraya here tonight. The crowd's booing her out of the building, and this is just beautiful. She just doesn't care. This is a girl that doesn't care, but Soraya took it to Christina Bennett right here tonight. She brought her to the limit, people. And, I mean, Christina Bennett, like, she just completely obliterated any and all concept of the Forbidden Door at this point, as far as I'm concerned. This is the crossover we didn't know that we needed. Oh, this is great. This is brilliant. This is the booing air out of the building. This is great. I, I mean, she understood the assignment, though, because she knew that she was going to get booed out of the building at a double or nothing. But look at that. Christina Bennett walking out of AEW double or nothing with the WWE Women's Intercontinental Championship. I think she's up to five title defenses so far, and most of them were in this episode. But hey, she's a fighting champion, and she's answering any and all open challenges. And we're, I, he said anywhere, anytime. You know, I mean, so she's she's fulfilling that obligation, even though she wasn't really obligated to show up here. But hey, you know what? We will we will take a fighting champion out of Christina Bennett. So we'll we'll take that as a big win. Either way around, we've got a lot of developments here. Christina Bennett uh, jumping ship to AEW for a cup of coffee potentially, as she's still the women's intercontinental championship. Uh, we had the crossover and first initial meetup that has been much anticipated between Christina Bennett and Max Storm. Max Storm's trying to take over SmackDown, Nia Jax is returning. There was a lot that happened in this episode. So again, thank you all super duper much for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and hit the bell button so you get notifications around here, and that sort of thing. We are on the road to a thousand subscribers at the time recording this, so any and all support is much appreciated. So again, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell and all that good stuff. And these episodes are going to be a little bit longer in November, just in general, because one, this is more of our long-form series, and two, there's just a lot of ground to cover, just in general. Uh, but these will be out, hopefully, every Friday in November, so get excited, people. Get excited. So, again, thank you all super duper much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.